Hello, Jennifer Tochi here. And I am here because it's Friday. And Friday, I do the Final Girls of Horror reviews. Yes. Hmm. Today, we're going far away from where we went last week. Which made me very uncomfortable. Because last week, I enjoyed Attack of the Killer Donuts. I know not everybody in uh, uh, the Final Girls of Horror enjoyed it. But it was my kind of movie, you know? So I came into this one like kind of like a... Maybe, maybe I'll like it. And then I see... Wow. Bradley Cooper. And then, and then I go, okay, 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 Bradley Cooper, eye candy Bradley Cooper's in this one. Okay, yeah, he's, he's hot. Okay, he's hot. And then I, and uh, I saw him with his girlfriend and I said, Okay, he, he, it's like, it, you know, it wasn't like a, it wasn't that, you know, okay, I'll turn that off a minute. it wasn't that kind of relationship between those two. I don't, I don't know. I just didn't, it just didn't seem that way, you know? And, um, but then it got to the killings. Yeah. Uh, Bradley Cooper is a photographer. And he wants to find the heart of New York City. And, but I guess he's not being... Uh, he doesn't have the balls to do it, you know? He's not taking, um, he, he's not taking exciting enough photos, dangerous enough photos, as, uh, Brooke Shields' character tells him. Damn it, what right does Brooke Shields look like? What right does she have to look that good in 2008? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> but um damn when it comes down to the midnight mid blah, 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 the midnight blah, blah, the midnight meat train um once those uh killing machines by I believe his name is Leslie Bibb. Who plays Mahogany. Very mysterious man. Who we find out is a butcher. And is using butcher tools. To kill. People. On the last train. Of the night. And Bradley Cooper finds this out also. And becomes kind of obsessed with it. Once this happens, it's like, huh? It's like, you you can't uh like, you you can't stop watching. I'm not usually like a a a CGI blood person, but the way they shoot it. Blah, 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 the way the way they shoot those scenes and it, oh oh my gosh when they shoot the scene where a uh, a guy gets hit and his eyeballs go boom you know <laughs> it's gorelicious and I'm a gore person you know um. Usually, I'm a more of a practical effects person. And there is some practical effects in this. There is. 
but there's more CGI. But the butcher or mahogany, as he is called, I believe once in this movie. Man, that guy is so freaking scary. Oh, yeah, I could not watch it before bed. I was, I was like, last night after the midnight hour, I was like, going, uh huh, uh huh, I'm gonna finish watching the movie now. And then I said, nah, nah, I'm not finish. I'm not watching this. I'm not watching this guy before I, I go to bed. So I think I put on ink masters so I could fall asleep. <laughs> yes. But um well, there are two twists to this movie. Yes there are. Oh god, this one this one place though between between Bradley Cooper and his girlfriend when he's kind of getting obsessed with getting those pictures he goes to visit her at her job before anybody else comes and it's like there's this horrible sex scene between them and it's like what the frock it's like I never want to see that scene again. When I watch this movie again, because I intend to buy the, I tend to buy buy it, see if it's on DVD, and buy it if it's on DVD. But it's like I will fast forward it through that scene because I do not want to see it again. And it's like it's not like a full body thing, you know, it's not like a full, it doesn't show the whole body, it doesn't show any of the body, but it's like a horrible scene, okay, I'm through that now, okay, but once it goes into the subway, it is beauty, <laughs> I sound so weird. Okay. And, um, yeah, and, um, there's two surprises at the end. I'm not going to tell you either. I'm not going to tell you either. There's, but the second to last one, I w it was kind of like, eh. And the last one you could t tell was kind of coming, you know, <laughs> when you're watching the movie, you can tell it was kind of coming, but I still liked it. Yeah. So we had two eye candies in this movie. Ooh, two for one eye candies, because that butcher, he was nice and scary and big and Ooh, the way he handled that hammer was, wow, he was scary as hell. Yeah. My goodness, and he was, he was so good, he didn't have to say, say anything. He would just sit there. I think one guy goes up to him and says something forced gumpy about him and he just sits there with his tools his bag full of tools but this is a good movie i like it um uh, yeah and i will watch it again i'm gonna look for a dvd yeah yeah it's damn good damn good i mean it it comes from a short story by clark barker of course, it's, it comes up from his frogged up mind, you know? It's like, of course, this can be weird and gross and disgusting. Because that's what Clive Barker is. That's why I like him so much. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs>
Have a nice day. Oh, and check out the other horror girls. Yes. The final horror girls. Reviews. Goodbye.